everybody, it's Chris from Rock Guitar Lessons for Old Guys and today we are going to break down the riff from Communication Breakdown by Led Zeppelin. Uh, now when you are learning this you are going to learn um, probably two or three different techniques and the first one is down picking. Okay, so just everything downwards which is very much a rock technique. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's the first first part of your riff is just going downwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So everything I'm doing there is a downstroke. Okay. Um, while you do that, the second technique you're going to learn is palm muting. So I'm just going to move this over a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just taking a little bit of the the flesh of my palm here, and the palm muting technique is when you just place that part of your hand just across across the bridge there. So I'm just touching these parts of the strings right here just to dampen the sound. So the difference there is that without without palm muting you get this. And with a little bit of dampening right there you just get a more staccato sound. Okay, so that's technique number two. So the first part of the riff you're literally going to just play the open E string nine times with downstrokes one two three four five six seven eight nine and also keeping that palm muting on okay then we're going to get into our chords so the first chord you're going to play is a bar chord d okay and if you struggle to play a bar chord d and the bar chord d is where you're holding down the d note right here on the fifth string on the fifth fret fifth string and then with your third finger you're going to bar strings four three and two on fret seven okay if you can't manage that just do a power chord okay i'm going to show you a couple of ways to play this let's do the just do the the way i was playing it at the start first d power chord and then you're going to play an a power chord, uh, sorry, a D bar chord, and then you're going to play an A bar chord. Okay, so the A bar chord is your E form with a bar at the front right here. So E form, use three fingers form an E major open chord, and then using your first finger to bar. And then you're back to D. So you put that together. Okay, and that is basically the start of the riff. So let's talk about a couple of ways you can maybe make that a little bit easier for yourself. The first way is if you just play power chords. So, it doesn't sound quite as good. Okay, but you know, if you're struggling to play the full blown um, bar chord, then just use power chords till you get the bar chords under control. And the other way that you can play it is actually using a, a, the sort of Hendrix over the neck grip for the A bar chord, which I think is actually how Jimmy Page plays it. Okay, so a bit more of a change there. So if you're using the bar chords, this is a great exercise just to learn to switch between um, a bar chord root on the sixth string and a bar chord root on the fifth string. And the uh, chord progression is a one, four, five. It's a E, A, sorry, A, D and E. Really, those are the, your three chords. Okay, so that is it for this. Um, Please subscribe, add some comments, and also um, in terms of comments, seeing which grip are you using. So are you using the bar chord grip, are you using power chords, or are you over the neck? You let me know. Um, thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching, and um, I will see you on the next video. Bye bye for now, happy practicing.